My name is Greg Pinkney. I'm a criminologist, urban youth specialist and a lecturer at a local university in Birmingham. One of my hardest challenges as a practitioner that works with young people that are involved in violence is giving them an idea or a strategy that they can think about, that they can take away. A young man said to me once, Craig, I'm in beef with a group of young people. And what do I do? My initial response was, you need to make sure that you survive. The second thing I said to him was, where does the beef take place? Because for me, giving young people these idealistic ideas about consequences and telling them about their choices, I understand it comes from a good place, but for some young people, they live in environments where it's at their doorstep and they can't necessarily make sense of what you're telling them versus what's in front of them. So I say survive is the main thing, survival. Second thing is, can you think of or adopt strategies that reduce the possibility of you coming into contact with that group? And I think for me, that's where we as a society or members of the community can potentially work on. So for myself, with this particular young man, I said to him, how do you get home? He said he caught the bus. I said, where did these young boys chill? Where did they hang out? He said, this particular location. I said, is there another way to get to your house on the bus? He said, yeah. I said, let's work on that because survival is the main thing. So when I mean survival, I'm not saying that you have to carry the knife or have to carry a weapon or run into the contact, but can you navigate your way a different way to reduce the reality that you might be faced with? And the fact of the matter is that reality is prominent for a lot of young people that live within our society that they don't see a way out. So maybe you can't see a way out right now, you can't see the light of the tunnel, but what strategies can you use whilst you're in the tunnel that can, in, can stop you from falling further into that darkness? What is your strategy? Do you need to talk to people? Do you need to engage with people? Who are the people in the community that you can talk to that's going to give you a survival mechanism that you can navigate your way in your own community? Because they're there, but you have to look out for them. And don't sit back thinking that the burden is upon you to make that decision, because sometimes it's upon us. Individuals like myself that can assist individuals like yourselves out there in the society that might be thinking that you have to make that type of decision. So if anybody asks me the question, what would you advise a young person? Survive.